Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we are going to solve this given exponential equation 5 squared times 5 power 4 times 5 power 6 times it goes all the way to 5 power 2x equal to 0 0.008 power negative 80 and x is greater than zero please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe let's go ahead and get started with the solution and here's our very first step let's focus on the left hand side of this uh, equation and now let's recall the product rule of exponents we're going to apply it on the left hand side so the left hand side could be written as 5 power 2 plus 4 plus 6 plus goes all the way to 2x equals to now let's focus on the right hand side this base 0 0.008 and here I have copied it down let's go ahead and remove its decimals we want to put it in a fraction form so this could be written as 8 divided by 1 thousand in the denominator and now 8 and 1000 could be reduced to 1 divided by 125 and 125 could be written as 5 power 3 so therefore this could be written as 1 divided by 5 power 3 let's move this one to the top so this could be written as 5 power negative 3 so therefore this part has been simplified to 5 power negative 3 so therefore the right hand side would be written as 5 power negative 3 and then whole power negative 80 and now let's focus on this exponents on the left hand side we can see that 2 is in common the left hand side could be written as 5 power 2 times 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus goes all the way to x equals to and now let's recall this power rule of exponents we are going to apply it on the right hand side so that means we are going to multiply out these two nested exponents so that is going to give us 5 power 240 and now we can see on both side our bases are same that is 5 so that means we can equate our exponents as well therefore we can write let's go ahead and equate our exponents 2 times 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus goes all the way to x equals to 240 and here's our next step let's focus on this part inside the parentheses and here i have copied it down and now let's recall this sum of arithmetic series 1 plus 2 plus 3 all the way to x is equal to x times x plus 1 divided by 2 so therefore we can write that this is equal to x times x plus 1 divided by 2 and now you might be wondering how this could be possible let me go ahead and show you a justification pretty quick and now let's recall this sum of a series s of n equals to a sub 1 a sub 2 all the way to a sub n where a sub 1 is our first term a sub n is our last term and n is the total number of terms and in our case 1 is our first term and x is our last term and that total number of terms are x and now let's go ahead and apply this formula on the left hand side so that's going to be x total number of terms divided by 2 times our first term is 1 plus last term is x in other words we can write x times i'm going to switch these were around i'm going to write down x plus 1 divided by 2 and now we can see this is same as this one 
Therefore, I am going to replace this whole part inside the parentheses by this one. So therefore, this could be written as two times, I'm going to write down x times x plus one divided by two equals to 240 on the right hand side. And now we can see that this 2 and 2 this is gone so we ended up with x times x plus 1 equals to 240. Let's go ahead and distribute uh, this one so that is going to give us x square plus x equal to 240. Now let's go ahead and move this 240 on the left hand side and now we can see that this is our quadratic equation and we are going to solve it by grouping and uh, factoring. Therefore, let me go ahead and tweak this uh, 1x. I can write this uh, 1x as 16x minus 15x. The reason why I did this one because 240 is same as 15 times 16 and now we can see between the first these two terms we have x is in common and between these second two terms we have a negative 15 is in common. Therefore we can write uh, x times x plus 16 and here I'm going to factor out negative 15 outside so we ended up with uh, x plus 16 equals to 0. And now we can see x plus 16 and x plus 16 is in, in common. So therefore I can write this one as x minus 15 times x plus 16 equals to 0. And now let's go ahead and separate these two factors. I can write x minus 15 equal to 0. The other one is x plus 16 equal to 0. So let's move this 15 on the other side. So we got x equal to positive 15 as one of the solutions. And now let's move this 16 on the other side. So we got x equal to negative 16. And this turns out to be a negative number. But we know that x must be greater than 0. So therefore we are going to reject this scenario. So thus our solution turns out to be x equal to 15. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.